Just over a week ago on August the 17th, 2023, Discount Supermarket chain Aldi launched three brand new unisex fragrances under the La Cura brand name. And this mini collection is called the Essence of Italy range. And if the packaging wasn't obvious enough, all three of these fragrances are dupes of posh high-end designer brand Aqua di Parma. And they come in at a staggering £214 cheaper than the same size original variants. These are all absolutely fantastic and I can't remember the last time I was so excited to let you all know about some budget friendly fragrances so to find out all about them stay tuned to this special episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul, and today is all about the Essence of Italy range of perfumes from Aldi, which are selling for just £4.99 each for a 50ml bottle size. And if you want to get your hands on any of these, you will have to be fairly quick because they are a limited edition, and apparently uh, stock only gets delivered into stores on Thursdays and Sundays, and they do sell them on a first-come, first-served basis until stocks last. All three fragrances come in an eau de toilette concentration, and it's fair to say that these are hands down Aldi's best offerings to date. I do also understand that some people have a real dislike towards dupes, uh, but it's also no secret that we're often paying for premium uh, and expensive packaging and A-list celebrity advertising. So if a supermarket is able to replicate a product with a, maybe an 80 or a 90% similarity for a fraction of the cost, maybe it's not such a bad thing. We're in a cost of living crisis after all and some people just haven't got £150 to drop on an expensive niche scent so please be mindful before posting any negative comments down in the comment section which will only get instantly deleted anyway. Okay, so first up, we have one called Indigo, uh, which comes in this lovely translucent blue colourway. Uh, and this one is inspired by Fico di Amalfi from the Aqua de Palma's uh, Blue Mediterraneo collection uh, that I have done a full review of on the channel, by the way, so you can also go and check that review out. But this one combines fruity notes of orange, lemon, grapefruit and bergamot. But the main uh, prominent note in this one that everything else seems to centre around is the note of fig, which is quite sweet and produces uh, a tropical summer fruitiness. Add to this a mild hint of pink pepper and a clean woody base of cedar and it makes for a scent that's said to transport you straight back to the uh, Amalfi Coast. It's a very classy smelling easy going fragrance with a, a fairly mature character. It won't be for everyone though and out of these three that I'm going to talk about today I'd say that this is probably the most divisive one in terms of its aroma and some people will really enjoy it and others won't so much uh, but there's absolutely no doubt in what it's meant to be inspired by and it's uh, a pretty accurate representation of Fico at uh, the Amalfi to be honest. I didn't need to be told what it was meant to be and I instantly recognised it as soon as I sprayed it and that's uh, good enough for me and I'm actually still in a state of shock that this only cost £4.99. It's probably the mildest performing one out of these three with a soft projection and it's not going to leave a, a big scent trail that will get you lots of compliments but as the wearer you will keep getting nice little subtle wafts from it as you're moving about throughout the day. It lasts on skin for a couple of hours or so, so you will need to apply a, a few more sprays, maybe after the two or three hour mark, but overall it's, uh, it's a really strong one and I really do like this one. Okay, so next up we have one called Giallo uh, that comes in the yellow packaging and you've probably already guessed what this is inspired by. And yes, you'd be right in thinking it's a copy of the cult classic Aqua de Parma Colonia, which is a sparkling and super refreshing citrus fragrance that's perfect to wear on the hottest of summer days. It opens with zesty, fizzy lemon and combines with a clean soapy neroli for an uplifting, fresh out of the shower aroma. It's extremely fresh and summery and it's like you can almost smell the lemons amongst the green leaves uh, and this is about as lemony fresh as it gets. There's also notes of ginger, patchouli and leather that just add a touch of warmth and depth to the base of the scent but this is by far the most summer fresh out of these three. Again it's a really decent likeness to the original and you do get a definite colonial experience without breaking the bank. This has a strong projection for the first hour or two uh, and the sharp crisp scent profile cuts through the warm air on a sunny day. 
Obviously, it's not as long lasting as the original, uh, but you will get a good three to four hours of longevity out of it before needing to reapply it again. And it does project more than the Indigo one that I've just spoken about. And finally, the third one is called Nero, and this one comes in the black packaging. And this is inspired by Aqua de Palma's signature Oud, which is a, a more captivating and intense uh, fragrance that's more suited to wearing in the evenings and on cooler days. It's a heady blend of fruity and woody notes, opening up with bergamot, orange and amaris. And then as it develops, it combines leather with earthy notes of patchouli, sandalwood and agarwood to produce a warm, dark, rich and sophisticated smelling aroma. The original signature oud is a heavyweight scent uh, which is blended with highly concentrated perfume oils and comes in at a whopping £219 a bottle. Obviously this isn't going to be the same level of quality, uh, but just like the other two that I've just spoken about, it's got enough of a, a resemblance to instantly recognise what it's meant to be inspired by. In terms of performance, it is slightly longer lasting than the other two, and with it having more of a, a full bodied scent profile, it just seems to linger on your, uh, on your clothes a little bit longer. But you will still only get maybe 3-4 to four hours out of it before you need to give yourself a couple of uh, top up sprays. Okay, so in summary, I actually can't put into words how good these are for the price that you pay for them. They're inspired by three timeless, classy fragrances and do a fantastic job of providing you with a high-end designer fragrance experience at a tiny fraction of the price. Obviously, these aren't going to include the same quality level of fragrance oils found in the original Aqua de Palma originals, and I'm not going to insult these by doing side-by-side -side comparisons and critiquing them within an inch of their lives. We all know that they won't perform as well as the originals, and when you're paying a 5 for a 50ml bottle size, the mere fact that I can tell what they're inspired by is a win in my book. The Giallo is uh, the most mass appealing, uh, the Indigo one is more of an acquired taste but out of the three it's my personal favourite because I do enjoy more quirky, interesting and out there smelling fragrances. And then finally the Nero is the most masculine of the three with a darker, richer, full bodied aroma. Uh, and I'd say the packaging uh, is, it doesn't feel cheap at all and the bottles look great with, a real, with really good atomizers, and the caps fit really uh, securely. And I can't recommend these enough uh, to anyone that's on a tighter budget. And if you see them on display in your local Aldi store, then definitely pop one in your basket because I think they're uh, not going to be around for that long and uh, they're definitely well worth the money. Okay, so that's about it. It was just a nice little short, quick look at Aldi's latest offerings, and I really enjoy discovering little hidden gems like these. Also, don't forget, all this week I am going to be bringing you more wallet-friendly Middle Eastern smell-alike scents, so keep your eyes peeled for plenty more new and exclusive content. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video and you enjoy the content that I produce and find it useful in any way, then please don't forget to give the video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel as this helps with all the YouTube algorithms and it'll get my videos pushed out in front of uh, a few more eyeballs. So once again, thank you very much for tuning into this special little episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.